What's up guys? Uh, yesterday I did a video cutting a big stone of chrysocolla and uh, showing you how to use a slab saw and actually cut that slab. Um, today uh, I'm going to talk about taking that, which is this is what we got from that. It's uh, you know, nice thickness and a big chunk that we'll be able to get several cabochons out of. Um, so today what I'm going to talk about is actually um, how to design and arrange your, your, um, your shapes on this. Um, so I, I have uh, some viewfinders that I've cut out of playing cards and you can kind of move things around on your stone to see how it might look because uh, the patterns change so much within a stone. This is kind of the artistic part um, where, where you're a photographer or a painter and you're composing, um, you're comp composing your, your piece of art, you know, you're, you're um, arranging your shot and, and really uh, making it aesthetically pleasing as, as much as you can and make it interesting. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit and then how to use the trim saw, which is this, which is what I'll, I'll cut um, the preforms out of. And then uh, in the next video, I'll talk about taking that preform cut uh, to a cabbing machine, which is a, um, a six-wheel grinding and polishing machine, which puts the final touches on your piece that polishes it up real nice. And then from there, you can use that in jewelry. So uh, today we're just going to talk about uh, the trim saw and cutting your preform. So let's do it. Okay, so what I'm actually going to be doing here is uh, trying out some different shapes. Um, so I've just cut a bunch of uh, shapes that I thought would be interesting pieces out of playing cards. I should be a lot more organized about it, um, and eventually I will be, but uh, just whatever ideas you might have, it's a good way to kind of visualize that before you actually cut into your stone, because there's really no, no turning back. Um, and sometimes you have really good material that you uh, want to utilize you know, as, as well as you can. So what I'm, I'm doing is kind of uh, finding interesting spots on the stone that, I, that I'd like to showcase and uh, moving these around to, to uh, like I said before, arrange them and kind of compose, uh, compose the stone. Um, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a lot of different ideas and then I'll get back with you and kind of show you what I decided to do. And um, I usually just start by, by doing it in pencil uh, as you can kind of see it but it's not permanent you know you can you can draw out all your all your shapes in pencil first and then once you're ready to to commit um, I go with the sharpie and put that on because that you'll actually see through the, the cutting process uh, if you just put it in pencil you'll kind of lose lose your lines pretty quick um, so but with, I, I, I don't like to commit too quick so I'm gonna work on some stuff and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you about it Blowing in through the front porch is green. You wash the dishes at the kitchen. Okay, so uh, I decided on a couple shapes to start with. So down in the corner, that's some really good, uh, looks to me like gem silica. It's just the really kind of white silicated part, which is the hardest part of, of this kind of stone, um, which is good for cutting, good for us. Chrysocolla can be kind of crumbly sometimes, so uh, you never know if it's going to hold up through the whole calving process. But th these should. Um, so I'm starting with these two small guys, and uh, I'll just cut out this little chunk down in the bottom corner, and um, so I'll still have a lot of material left. But you know, eventually you'll kind of plot out this whole stone and use the material as best you can. So um, let's get cutting. Okay, hey guys. Um, so these are the shapes that we that we uh, decided on, um, for better or for worse. And uh, this is the trim saw I'm going to be cutting on. This is just a um, a water guard as well as this, um, but it's a six inch uh, diamond blade that just opens up and then um, you fill it up with water just up to the bottom of the blade so it hits it a little bit and lubricates. Um, I also have to use something called uh, water aid with this trim saw and it's also good with the calving machine that I'll show you next. Um, but just a little bit of this, so a few drops. Um, just helps lubricate it since this doesn't run with oil. You can run it with oil but uh, it's a lot messier, so I, I tend to stick with water and the uh, water aid. And uh, it's got six speeds on it, so I forgot to close that and just splash myself in the face. Uh, uh, so it has six speeds depending on the hardness of the stone. Um, like I said, this isn't super hard, uh, the crystal cola, so I shouldn't have to, to go all the way up to six, but I might go to, to four or four and a half. Um, I'm going to put on my apron so I don't get all wet. 
All right, so I got my apron. Um, when you use this, you definitely want to use eyewear or uh, eye protection because unlike the slab saw where it's closed, this we're just pushing by hand. Um, and it's a diamond tip, so it's not actually sharp. Um, it's actually just grinding away the stone. So my fingers aren't necessarily at risk. Um, I can touch it while it's going, um, but, uh, but still shards of rock can fly off. And uh, I'm actually gonna wear my mask for this too because uh, as I said in the video yesterday, um, chrysocolla and some copper rich minerals uh, you don't really want to be inhaling that stuff um, so there is a little bit of dust that will come up from this not a whole lot um, but just to be on the safe side I'm gonna wear this and then I'm gonna start cutting so let's do it Okay, so I made my first cut just down that line. Now I'm going to do my next one across here and just cut this chunk off. All right, beautiful. Uh, this is where we are so far. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half and try to Sorry, and try to shape it as close to um, the final cab shape as possible. So there's one. Okay, here's the second one. Here's the second one. I stayed outside the line a little bit. Um, just because I, I, I really like this material and so uh, I sometimes will cut it a little extra and then once I get on my calving machine I'll uh, see kind of how it grinds away just so um, I don't take away take off too much of it right at the start All right guys, so recap uh, we just cut these two um, Pieces off of that slab that we cut from yesterday's tutorial on the slab saw um, and these will next take to the calving machine and uh, grind them to the shape we want and polish them up. Stick around for that tutorial next and uh, we'll, we'll be able to, to make pieces that will be polished and ready to be set in jewelry. So stay tuned.